Fortune Luck. Let's see what Fortune Luck we get now. Had that motherfucker up down so you couldn't see it. You see beauty, you see beauty where others only see ordinary. That's a deep one. Let's get to the second one. I got show. All right. You are gifted with artisticity or artistic talents. I'm blessed, man. Very blessed. Universe speaking to me right now, man. These is random pick cookies. Yeah. You will be surprised by a close friend. All right, so we're going to reread them. I'm going to start off with the recent one. You will be surprised by a close friend. You are gifted with artistic talents. Artistic, not autistic. Artistic, y'all. I know I got it. My, my voice is iffy. You you see beauty where others see ordinary. I do. All right. So this is very predictable, man. Blessed. Blessed. God. Hold on, hold on. God. Davey, no more to come in. Mr. I want to come out back right now. That video. Man. Look. It feel like a minute, man. I'm finally refreshed. I did some recently, which is going to be coming out soon. You're going to see the work uh, I put in there. Man, I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to be 100. I got a lot of shit in the vault, bro. Stop! I got a lot of shit coming for y'all, a lot of content coming for y'all on the main channel. All the side channels and shit, that shit going to be comp confidential. 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 And you're going to get it whenever that, whenever you get it. But we get to this mukbang right now. We got a Pen Express mukbang, man. I get the honey sesame chicken, the grilled teriyaki, and the chow mein. That's all I like. And yes, that will be the thumbnail. I'm God Omar. <laughs> but listen, man. Hope y'all niggas feeling well. Hope y'all niggas doing good. We're about to start eating. So look. Huh. Open up. There you go, Bell. Look. So look, man. How y'all been? You know what I'm saying? Go on. Bye. Give me your cut. So how y'all niggas been, man? It's been a while since I've been filled with relief. You know what I'm saying? Been a while. Sit down and really talk to my niggas, man. There's a lot of shit been going on lately. Like, I mean, a lot of shit. Not that cookie cutter shit. Half y'all niggas be complaining about it. It's a lot of shit that been going on. But I put my big boy drawers on. Became a man. Accepted it. And just keep going, you feel me? Not letting that stop us. Not letting that stop me. Because we here still doing this. Still going 100%. I took the night. I tell y'all, man, I was so I was so jet lagged when I came back from the hospital. Yes, I said the hospital. I was so jet lagged, bro. Felt like a nigga just got out of uh commissary uh commissary confinement, uh cemetery confinement or something like that. I feel like I just got out of that, bro. Like, bro, your communication is start it's it's off your game. And it's like, bro, it's like so, it's like so much things. If y'all seen, y'all will understand. But then again, not a lot of people woke, so y'all won't understand. Like, the how the hospital supposed to be a place you go, the better your health. But y'all got a Wendy's in your hospital. I ate Wendy's for four days in a row straight. Had breakfast in a in a cafeteria. Wendy's four days straight. Sometimes I even went there twice. Like, bro, I gained seven pounds just in that four day spin. I'm not lying to you. Hospitals, it's not healthy unless you're going for an actual reason. Like, going there for surgery and stuff, that shit just bait for you to get right back big, man. It's so many distractions out here. I'm not I'm blaming people for being unhealthy. You choose your lifestyle, but bro, it's so crazy. Only if y'all can see the things that I've seen, like how they treat their they patients and 
all that. It's not bad, but then again, it's not good. I feel like if you're not truly passionate about it, don't do it for a check. You feel me? Because like hospitals are just one of them jobs. You just can't do it. Just not just for no check. You gotta have a passion in that shit, bro. Cause you people's lives are in your hands. Like some people that's like that barely can speak, they're crippled, their body is it's shambles, bro. Like that shit is deeper than what y'all niggas think, bro. I know a lot of young niggas that ain't nothing. But bro, like like my situation, you see your mom in that position, bro, you gonna feel some way then. But just because you see a stranger in there, you won't care. And that's the truth. I mean it, I'm the same way. I wouldn't care. But when you see somebody you love dearly in that situation, it could be your wife, your mom, your girlfriend, whoever, you gonna be like, fuck, like, it's nothing I can do, like, you just gotta sit there and watch them suffer, bro. Like, especially me, if you overprotective and you don't trust, you don't trust strangers, looking at your folks like me, you gonna be you, you gonna be up there and you gonna have no choice but to take that hit to the jaw every single day. Wake up. They can't piss on their own. They can't eat on their own. They can't. They can't talk on their own, bro. It's fuck. Anyway, man. <clears throat> I hope my fighter's still hanging in there, man. Don't give up on me, man. Cause I'll never fucking give up on you. Feel me? No matter what you go through, I'll be there for y'all. These videos, it's no, it's no, it's like, it's not like no other part of YouTube. That's why they keep fucking with me, man. It's like no other part of YouTube. You can't find me nowhere else because I'm only, it's only one me. It's only gonna be one YouTube. And once you realize the value of being yourself, you gonna, yo, your confidence level becomes from a, what, a cool four to like a cool, Two million, two billion, two trillion. Like you said, how I talk now, bro. If you know me personally, I'm quiet. When I come on here, I show off for y'all because I want y'all to build this confidence with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Put put your put your best effort into into your relationships with your with your parents, with your girlfriend, with your whoever, your brothers, family. Girlfriend, work life. And when you put that 100% effort in everything, how can you lose? Like, you're going to have losses, but lose. Like, oh, you just lose. You just lose. That's it. That's different. Losses is mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Switch the, switch the letters on there. L-S-S-O-N. S. Lessons. My nigga. Yeah, don't try to test me, nigga. I can spell. Nigga, stop playing with me, nigga. Y'all niggas over here really, they really rewinding this shit like, I don't think this nigga spelled it right. Head ass nigga, bro. You know I spelled that right. That head ass nigga. But yeah. And once you understand the true power of yourself, it's, it's impossible, nigga. You don't care about nobody. You don't care what nobody thinks. You don't care what no nigga doing. All you worry about is your next move and how you gonna continue getting better. You know what I'm saying? Each and every time. How you gonna get better every single time? They could get better, but you don't care about them. All you care about is yourself. Because at the end of the day, no matter how close you is with that homeboy, how much you love that girl, how much you love your brother, how much you love your sister, your mom and dad, at the end of the day, they're gonna do what's best for them. Even if that means cutting you off, my nigga. That shit is deep, but it's real, bro. I'm gonna keep it a thousand with y'all. Y'all think I'm gonna lie to y'all niggas? I ain't gonna lie to y'all niggas. Not for nothing. Not not not, not something that stupid, man. Y'all probably asking like, so what you saying? What I'm saying is, look out there yourself, nigga. Best advice, I, best advice I can give anybody, bro. Look after yourself, nigga. Take care of yourself, bro. And the niggas that take care of you every single time you was down, you make sure you take care of them niggas more than anybody else in your circle, bro. Because I'm telling you, those the niggas that are investing in you, 
They invest in no matter how, which way or what way they invest into you in. They're investing in you, so that means they believe in you, nigga. Even when you be like, I'm nobody, I'm a failure, this and that. Them niggas like, hey, bro, you need anything. I got you. Boom, boom, boom. Let me order you food. Oh, shit, now let me pull up on you. I got I got this uh, I got this shit I could give you for your YouTube shit. Oh, nah, bro, hey, my big bro, my, my big bro, literally. What was it two weeks ago, three weeks ago? He came over here. And this nigga gave me a a, a jug of sea moss, bro. He invested in me. He want me to he want me to be healthy. Cause you know why? He believes in me, bro. People are not gonna do shit for nobody they don't they don't think it's value or it's worth their time or their money. I'm not lying to you. They don't give a fuck if you eat, nigga. They don't care if you starve. They don't care if you you bathe, nigga. They don't care about none of that shit. Y'all niggas think the only way to check up on somebody or keeping it real with somebody is always in contact. No, sometimes it's best to give your brother, your sister, your best friend, your girlfriend that space, bro. Cause nigga, it's not about the thinking process. It's about them. You gotta, you gotta, you basically telling them without saying to them. Certain shit is best if you doing your own, nigga. Not lying, bro. That's what make that person greater. If I'm in a relationship personally, I'll give you the best advice I can. Cause I am the best. My best advice is, if that person not fully done, if that person not fully ready to commit, or not fully worked on themselves, they not they don't got their shit all the way together. Don't fully commit. That's all. That's all. This is my advice. For me. That's advice for God Omar, man. Davy and Omar, aka Mr. Omar. That's that's my advice for me. Cause look, I'm gonna tell you something. You just end something just to get your heart broken, bro. In every relationship. It's going to have to end at some some point in time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about you might not even break up with the person. Y'all might just y'all might just end it without even knowing y'all ended. If y'all know what I mean, like mentally, y'all just out of it. Y'all don't y'all don't want to hear it. Y'all don't care. Physically, sometimes physically. That's why married couples stop fucking, nigga. Think about this shit. This shit is not fake. Invest into yourself. When you fully work on yourself, when you fully take all your flaws and start working on your flaws, you ain't got to master it. Just work on yourself. That's it. You just got to admit that you're in denial all the time, even when you're wrong. You're like, all right, shit, if I work on that, I'll be a better person. <laughs> you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I just want to come over here and tell my niggas some real game. I don't want this video to be too well, man. I'm going to start keeping it short and sweet. Get straight to the point, man. I love y'all. God! Davey, you know more to come in. Mr. Worth to come in when I roll to a thousand. So, up, man? I love y'all niggas. I'm gone, honey. Oh.